Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday edition of Video Clips. And I have some announcements. And the first one I think is really exciting. Um, every year in Columbus, Ohio, we have held a conference, a fall conference, um, and we call it the Annual Informed Medical Decision Making Conference. And we invite the best and the brightest in the world to come and share um, information about health and diet and lifestyle and really broad spectrum of topics, mental health, physical health, musculoskeletal health. Well, this year, our keynote speaker is going to be Dr. Scott Atlas um, of the, the White House Coronavirus Task Force fame. And um, he'll be speaking on Saturday night, November 13th, and tickets are available now. I would advise you to get them early. This is going to sell out, um, I'm sure. And uh, you can go to wellnessforumhealth.com and the conference flyer and registration form are posted there. Uh, so anyway, consider joining us. We will line up some other speakers too, but I always get the keynote person first and then build the conference around that person. So look for announcements. I'll make them in the future about our conference. Um, the second thing is uh, Monday, April 12th, uh, that's next Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern is the second of the two um, uh, conference calls. I've got one tomorrow at, uh, uh, at two o'clock, uh, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Some of you may not see this until after that because you maybe don't watch them all on the day that they're emailed, but um, there will be another conference call regarding careers at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. And if you'd like to participate in that and learn about our professional development plans and have our programs rather and have an opportunity to ask me questions and that sort of thing, um, both of those calls are available to you. But I'm emphasizing the one on Monday night because I suspect some of you may not get this email in time or watch this video in time to participate tomorrow. But if you want to, there's one on Friday at uh, 2 p.m. and one Monday, April um, 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then um, don't forget summer semester starts soon. Um, I'll say more about that next week, but the diet and lifestyle intervention course is a wonderful overview course that's offered through our school uh, that um, covers women's health, men's health, children's health, um, screening tests, cancer, autoimmune disease, gastrointestinal disease. It's an overview course of everything. And then if you get interested in some of these things, we have individual longer courses about all these topics, but 15 lectures each two to three hours hours long, and I promise you'll learn wonderful stuff. I mean, we have a lot of doctors and uh, dietitians and nurses who take this class every year and, and love it. So it starts the first week in June. So with that, let's get into today's topic. Um, so you're going to find this really strange, but this morning I read my horoscope. I, I read it every every day because um, the only reason I subscribe to our local newspaper is to see what's going on with our current situation. And it's a terrible newspaper, but I read the comics and I read the horoscope. I guess that's probably the best part about the newspaper. And here's what it said today. A person doesn't heal by adapting to a sick environment. You'll create a state of wellness by either going where health is the norm and absorbing the energy there or by creating your own solo bubble of wholesome vibes. Well, to me, this is less a horoscope than a philosophy of life. I mean, it could apply to anybody, regardless of your astrological sign. And it is so true. Um, take families uh, in which there's an alcoholic or a drug addict or a dysfunctional person, for example. The healthy people don't, by association, make the unhealthy people better. The unhealthy person drags the formerly healthy people right down to his or her level. And I've watched it happen so many times with drug addiction and alcoholism and, and um, uh, people who suffer from extreme depression and, and um, anxiety and whatever is going on that makes them dysfunctional. They drag everybody right down with them. I actually learned this as a child. My mother, who looking back, I think suffered from a combination of things which included OCD, depression, and alcohol abuse, was the person who drove everything in our household. Thus, we were all nuts. I'm not kidding. Incessant cleaning and rigid and ridiculous rules and family relationships that were fraught with incredible, unnecessary, completely unnecessary stress and keeping my father's family away, which he agreed to. None of that is normal or healthy and nobody escaped that emotionally intact. In fact, even after I was forced to leave home prematurely, instead of finding healthy people to be around, I duplicated what I knew and was familiar, and I hung around with and dated unhealthy people. I finally realized a couple of things, and the first thing was that I wanted to have a better life. 
And the second thing is the better life depended on staying away from people in situations that were unhealthy. It's not so easy to give up bad relationships and situations, even once you realize they're bad, but once you do it, and the sooner the better, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. It feels so good to expose the wound to the fresh healing air and sunshine, otherwise known as situations and other people who are healthy. And so here we are today. We're finding out that people in groups that we associate with and situations we find ourselves in are unhealthy. We need to be disconnected from them. There is no health for you and there's no health for me if we continue to allow unhealthy people into our lives and if we continue to put ourselves in compromising environments. We have to go to or create a place where health is the norm. I got to learn this lesson a long time ago and some of you are learning it and experiencing it for the first time. I guess there's something to be said for getting some of these lessons out of the way when you're a lot younger. It's not just enough, by the way, to withdraw from the unhealthy people and situations. You have to replace them. And much of the replacement, and I, I know in my case, and also in the case of many others, has come from these Thursday groups that you hear me talking about. These are, as you might have already surmised, groups of like-minded people who meet on Thursday, or any day would do. We just call them Thursday groups because that's how, when I started mine a year ago, or not a year ago, about uh, eight months ago, we're of like mind, friendships are made there. We work together to save our community and our small businesses. Feelings of accomplishment are had as a result. And we work toward fixing the situation we're in. Every week, people have at least one positive experience and the opportunity to meet new people and take on new projects. And we, we feel alive and connected and positive and hopeful and productive. All of those things that humans need all of those things humans need and have been deprived of for a long time. And when you put all of those things together, people start to feel like they're winning instead of losing. In other words, we've created our own little bubble of wholesome vibes as was referred to in my horoscope. And people who are with us in the bubble are absorbing the energy and they become part of that wholesome vibe as we welcome new people all the time. Everyone should do this. Even if you have not lost people and your life is intact, your community is filled with people who need to feel part of something good. They need a break from the negativity in their lives. They need friends. They need some place to go and something to do. So start a group. I promise you'll feel rewarded for doing it. And if you're in a situation where you're feeling that God awful void, and I've felt it, God knows I've felt it, not recently because I haven't been around unhealthy people, but um, I've really felt it uh, in the past and I know what that's like. You have to fill it somehow. And this is a great and healthy way and productive way for you to help restore your life. And while you're doing it, we'll rebuild our community. We'll gain back our, our lives and our freedom and our country. And, um, and everybody wins from this strategy. So um, I do a weekly conference call every Thursday at noon Eastern time. Uh, I explain how this all works and what the big picture is. But, but I think that for now, instead of focusing on you know, some of the legal stuff and everything else, I think I just really want to impart the idea that, that everybody in this country or around the world benefits from association with like-minded people and positivity. We have to create that for ourselves. And maybe one of the lessons that we're learning from all of this is how much more self-sufficient we need to become. We're a population of people who've sat back and been entertained for a long time. That's really not living, that's existing. And now that we're rolling up our sleeves and locking arms and joining together and doing things together, that is called living. It's not just existing, it's living. And I'm inviting you to set up your life for living every week like I have. It's magical. And um, uh, my favorite thing all week long, and I've never been deprived of interaction because my business has never had to close, but uh, my favorite thing is my Thursday group. I never miss it unless there's something really cataclysmic going on. I am always there because I get as much out of it as anybody else does. So anyway, um, back to the horoscope. Um, you'll create a state of wellness by either going where health is the norm and absorbing the energy there or creating your own solo bubble of wholesome vibes. Please, for your own sake, let alone the sake of your neighbors, create your own solo bubble of wholesome vibes. We need it. You need it. Our country needs it. We'll all be better off for it. 
All right, that's all for today. As usual, I'll pass this on to anybody who you think might enjoy watching it. Remember, I do put out videos uh, four days a week, and if you're not getting the other ones, you can subscribe by emailing me at pampopper at msn.com.